Early access of Tikrun Plains continues here today in Way the Hunter. We're actually here picking up where we left off last time after harvesting our first 5 star on the map, a 479 score absolute monster of a blue wildebeest. And what we were doing was actually just trying to unlock the map. I wanted to get at least all the cabins, and there's still these two on the west side that we've not been to. So we're going to fast travel back to here, grab our UTV, and continue the process. And I don't think it could be more fitting after the encounter in the last video than to start this hunt with a Pride Alliance, an interesting development. There's a three-star adult standing here, and we are not far from where we encountered that one, so I can't help but wonder if maybe he was actually just kind of bugged in like the most amazing spot ever, but there is a two-star mature here. So I think we'll go ahead and try to take that out. There's also behind the three-star adult a two-star, so really encouraging stuff, but 240 yards out. We'll go ahead and use the 300 for that and see what kind of genetics might be in this area. And also, I'm hoping there could be like a feed zone or something there. That guy is kind of turning, but that's going to do just fine. We'll head over there and check that out. And what I'll be most interested to see is if it ends up being this group of zones. I'm guessing it will be based on location, but that's still pretty far. So this ought to be the rest zone. It's the often rest zone, and it's that same Pride Alliance. That's so interesting. He was like away from the Pride and just standing there like looking over everything. It was so incredible. And now, you know, seeing that he's just a part of this Pride, evidently, the level of luck for us to encounter him the way that we did and get those photos is insane. But I think to this point, this will actually be our biggest lion. That was a double lung shot, kind of an off angle there at 240 yards, so not too bad. Ended up with a 54% as a two-star mature. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what that three-star adult becomes. If you didn't see it, in the last video, we found out to make five-star, lions have to be a score of 488 or higher. And of course, it's a max of 500, so there's not a lot of room there. Even a three-star adult probably isn't a guarantee, but they do have 10 years of maturity, so we shall see. And with our kind of new knowledge that seemingly most, if not all, animals here on Ticket Moon Plains are going to need to be a higher score than our previous maps to actually reach 5-star, I think it's going to be extremely important to manage literally any herd that we come across. And we've got not only a 1-star adult kudu here, but one that's kind of uneven. So I think we'll try to take that guy. Bit of an odd angle, but pretty confident that's going to punch through to a lung. The 300 has done really well here. And he is starting to stumble and go down. So we had actually abandoned our UTV just before killing the 5-star wildebeest in the last video. And I'm actually kind of thinking we might hunt on foot for the rest of this. It is only two cabins to unlock, and I just enjoy it more. It feels a lot less like hunting to just buzz around and spot herds and then jump out and figure out what they are. So I think we'll kind of leave the UTV back there. I don't know if I'm seeing things. That is a pretty white looking cave buffalo. Not only that, like it's got, I think, a pink nose. We're gonna have to go and investigate that. Let's actually mark it so we don't lose track. Because there's some Gensbuck and stuff out there too, and there's a very real chance if we spook the Gensbuck, it could spook the cave buffalo too. But we've seen our fair share of matures. They look pretty gray. I'm not so sure they look like that. As for our kudu real quick, I think maybe only the second adult kudu we've shot. We haven't actually shot too many of them. There's been a lot of kind of promising ones. This guy was a 43%, so really good to eliminate that. And let's go and see what on earth... Boy, does that look white from here, though. I don't know what that is. I mean, it looks like none of the other Cape Buffalo here. Look at that. I think that might be a rare, and... From what I can tell, it's a female. And that's kind of advantageous in the fact that we could go ahead and take it right now. I'm, I'm confident it's a female. Literally, just like the last video. We had just abandoned the UTV, then had to go back and get the bow. I don't know how we're going to find a way to try to get this with a bow, but we're going to. And this may actually be the best case scenario. Being so far away like this, it actually gives us a chance to basically loop around them and try to get out ahead of them so they walk to us. 
There's no collar for Cape Buffalo, so it's gotta be spot and stock. And frankly, I think the best way to do it is actually let them make the move towards us. It is probably gonna take a while, and just every now and then we're taking a few steps their direction to maybe cut down the distance, but I think we're facing about where we want to. This female out front is also a young. There's no doubt in my mind, that's an albino cape buffalo, so we're gonna take this super slowly, just keep on creeping up there and letting them move this direction. We can see they're wanting to come this way. If we don't push it, I think we'll get a shot. I do not know what's gonna happen here, but a couple of these buffalo are getting awfully close and our albino is way back there like 150 yards away. Now, I guess if it comes to it, maybe we can shoot one of these with the bow, but when there's two of them, I'm not so sure that's gonna work. I think it would spook the rest. That said, I think we're gonna have to try it. It's just walking right to us. So we might try to, man, I don't know if a headshot's a good idea. I think it knows we're here. Let's just go for a chest cavity shot. Gonna go a little to the right because of the wind. That definitely got her. And it didn't send everything running. That's really good information though. Like it got her good. This one's alerted. The rest of the herd's alerted. I don't know if it's gonna keep walking this way, but maybe that's gonna be the way. And eventually, I hope the albino just does what these are doing. You know, I can't help but wonder if this is actually, like, aggressive behavior? Because this is the second time we've had a Cape Buffalo just for no reason leave the herd and come walking over to us. And probably again, we're gonna have to try to take it out in order to get our albino. I mean, we're getting so close. It is literally step by step gaining a yard every couple of seconds. It's really, really slow. And we can't have this end up spooking everything. So, gonna stick that shot in the chest. Oh boy, um, okay. That was aggression. We smoked that thing, by the way. And I think, unfortunately, that spooked the herd. It's, that's interesting. They're not actually... Was it because of the aggression? Because it doesn't say they're spooked. It's alerted. But maybe that call, that aggressive vocalization, actually sent them off? That will be interesting. Shot that one right in the heart, so it's really good to know. The power of this bow, should we get a frontal shot at the albino, is going to be doable. Now, it's hitting with pretty low energy, but it's getting the job done. That one ran maybe 15 yards, and obviously these are just going to be females. I think they, I should have marked that. They ran up into there somewhere, and the wind's not going to be good if we just trail them. We're going to have to get out around them somehow, but maybe because we've actually spooked them now, what? This, this has to be some sort of aggression as well? I think that's what we're seeing. Hold on a minute. Oh, okay. What on earth is happening right here? Is there something about this area? Interesting that didn't, like, kill us. That was a one-star young. I wasn't even sure if we should shoot it, but... If something goes aggressive, the bow is not the move. That just took too long. To get the arrow knocked. That is a crazy sequence of events that we just had. And we're no closer, unfortunately, after spending 25 minutes, I think, stocking up and really only gaining like 100 yards on that albino. This one also was a hard shot, but you see, same distance, didn't even punch all the way through the heart, like didn't do as much damage, and it actually looks like it hit the heart with more energy. That is really, really interesting. So let's try to figure this out now. We know they ran that way. They should be moving maybe down towards that. The only thing I can figure is to try to spot them and then maybe consider either fast traveling or just flanking around them and getting out ahead. I hate to admit it, but I just don't think we're gonna be able to make this happen. Anytime we get anywhere near them, a couple of the other ones will just do that same thing as the females earlier. They'll kind of go aggressive, walk at us, 
and get so close that we're basically out of options. So I guess if we can get a shot at that albino with the 300, we're just gonna have to go for it because we've been after this thing for about an hour and a half and never been really even that close to getting into bow range. So they're all alerted. I don't want to send them running, but it seems they're just kind of trotting over the hill. I have maybe never experienced an hour and a half, almost two hours of a stock filled with such anticipation, but yet such frustration. It's just been impossible to get close to this thing. And it's getting late. We can hardly even see well. This guy's getting pretty close. We just have to try to take her out. Looks like good blood. I think that's going to get her. And we also need to be careful here that we don't have an aggressive one that we don't expect. So I'm going to zoom the scope out. I think we're okay. And I'll explain why I'm more okay taking this albino female with the rifle than initially I was when we spotted it. And essentially, in the last nearly two hours of trying to get in position to shoot this thing, I went back to the lodge quickly and I just checked. Can you place a female Cape Buffalo anywhere in the trophy lodge? And I'm not so sure you can. So I really don't know that it was worth even the time we did spend, but it certainly was not worth any more time, especially considering eh, we barely made it a few hundred yards beyond where we ended the last video at. Not exactly the plan, but we were able to get it with the 300. And also, by the way, Based on what I know of, like, albino woods bison over on Aurora Shores, this buffalo probably would have gotten a brighter white color as she reached maturity, and I thought of that too, but if we can't place it in the lodge, why not take it now? And frankly, I'm pretty bummed out that we weren't able to get the job done with the bow. She just never would be the one to go aggressive, like the rest in the herd, but there is the albino classification for this gay buffalo, Shot her in the back of the right lung there with the 300 and 131 yards after forever chasing it. And like I said, it probably would be more approximating this color had we shot it as a mature, but I'm pretty sure we can't place it at the lodge. We're going to tax it anyway in case either I'm wrong or they change that down the road. Really cool kill. Really wish we could have done with the bow, but at some point we have to actually get on with the idea of the video here. And at this point, we're going to have to rest to a new day because it's about to be dark so now after all of that we have to go back to regular management of our herds and i want to go straight into blue wildebeest mostly because they happen to be here but also because we did shoot that five star and we have made a multi mount currently that would take three blue wildebeest to actually complete so if we can get three five stars that would be fantastic we are also now about a thousand yards from this cabin in the northwest we're going to go at least that far and get that unlocked. I'm not even 100% certain if we'll make it all the way to the one in the south. This has definitely taken considerably longer than expected. It's a good problem to have when you're chasing an albino around. But it was quite the effort in the end just to take it with a gun, which we could have done, you know, without spending that hour and a half following it around. But it is kind of nice to get back on track here. So just a run-of-the-mill double lung and artery shot with the 300. That was a 36 percenter, which as a one-star mature, no huge surprise there. But we are now 900 yards away from where we're headed. So we'll go and get to that cabin. If we can stumble into another animal or two on our way, we'll probably leave it at that. If not, we'll at least start to make our way down to the one in the south. Now that's something I like to see. I don't even see the animal necessarily. We're spotting a four-star mature Cape Buffalo. It's got to be that one there. I can see. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty big buffalo. All right. I want to get closer and just get a better look at him. Maybe there's one in that herd that we can take out as well. Nothing to me looked extremely gray. And I think these guys lived like 25 years or something. I think they must have caught on to us there. That or maybe their zone's over. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's him there. Like, he is a little gray, but I'm pretty sure we've seen far grayer buffalo than that. And, like, look at the horn. Like, he doesn't even have great hooks at the moment. But assuming he can reach five-star, he probably should form some decent hooks with the size of those horns. Just actually faced us and made that a little better. I mean, that is insanely impressive. This one behind him might actually be okay to take. 
it's looking a little bit gray as well, and it's not nearly as big, but they are just lockstep. There we go. Pretty brief kind of look there, but he's not nearly as big. I think that's safe to get. And I guess maybe we'll go and grab him before we get the outpost. That's super encouraging, and I'm pretty sure they had a zone right here, this little pond. That they did, and it's similar, kind of, to the three-star adult Greater Kudu that we found. It's right outside an outpost or a cabin. We'll be able to pretty easily and quickly check on that guy, you know, day after day as years pass in-game and potentially aging occurs. Maybe he makes five-star. Unlike the case of our albino female there, if that's a five-star K Buffalo, we are at least taking a shot at him <laughs> with a bow. It might not be a kill shot. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we can get closer than we managed on the albino. But that has to be something we attempt with the bow. As for this one, he actually doesn't look too bad as we get closer. Either like an older adult or maybe a young mature. Ended up being a little bit back. Right lung and liver. He was a 56% adult, so perfect to take out, especially when there is obviously like a 70, 80 plus percenter in there. And let's go and get that cabin. And honestly, we may wrap it up at that. The unforeseen circumstances of that albino cape buffalo chase definitely threw this one off. I suspect this might be a slightly shorter video. We'll be back later on today anyway, so we might as well not get too crazy and try to run around and, you know, maybe blast through the area trying to unlock the cabin. And by the way, pretty nice little place here, but with this now unlocked, we can fast travel back to the main cabin. We'll check and see if we can somehow find a place for that albino buffalo. I'm pretty confident there is nowhere to place it. And we'll be able to pretty much slowly hunt our way from north to south in the next video. And it's kind of like more mountainous than anything else over here. So maybe that'll work out. It's going to be such different terrain and potentially different species and encounters. And believe it or not, there actually was a place that I didn't see in which we can place an albino cape buffalo female. So this particular mount is for two hyenas, which eventually we'll have to try to get. And I guess at this stage, it would have been better to let this mature so that it would have been pro probably a brighter white color. But it's our first rare here on Ticket Moon Plains. Maybe down the road, we'll find another one that we can let mature. I expect at some point that'll happen, but pretty cool to have that up there. So now in three hunts, We've basically, you know, gotten to know the game in the first hunt, killed a five-star wildebeest in the second hunt, and now an albino cape buffalo here in the third. I cannot wait to see what is in that area between the northwest cabin and the southwest cabin in the mountains, and we will soon find out as we head back here to Ticket Moon Plains. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.